Hey guys, it is Colby. Um, I hope you guys have had a great Wednesday and a great week. And if not, I'm sorry. I hope this brightens it. And if it doesn't, I am even more sorry. Um, this is actually a really weird video for me. I have no idea what I'm about to talk about. I don't even know if something's gonna come out. This might just be me talking to y'all. I literally, this is like my fourth take of a video because halfway through the past ones I've done, I'm like, no, no, Lord, this isn't it. I just can feel, you know, him saying, no, this isn't it this week. So I have no idea what it is this week. Lord, I pray that you just speak your words through me uh, and give everyone listening an open heart to receive and ears to listen and just say whatever you need to say, Lord. Um, amen. Guys, I have no idea. I am just in awe because this doesn't happen. <laughs> I usually am like, okay, I know what I want to talk about. I got it. And this week, I don't. And the Lord's so good. Um, and maybe that's the point is for me to tell you guys uh, that sometimes you don't have it all together. <laughs> um, that's totally what the Lord wants me to talk about, and he just revealed it to me. Um, we have this stigma, us, us Christians and religious people and whatever, um, that we have to be perfect, that we can't make mistakes, that we you know, can't screw up, we can't feel guilty, we, you know, we have to do everything by the book, because if we don't, then we're going to hell, or if we don't, then God is just done with us, and he's like, eh, all right, fine, you screwed up, man, I'm done, like, there's literally this stigma on us, and, um, and we got to break it, I guess that's what tonight is, is breaking this stereotype of, perfect Christians, because Christians are not perfect. Nobody is perfect. We all face the same things. You would be surprised, guys, if you sat in a room of strangers and you turned to the one next to you and you said, so this is what happened to me, or this is what I've been through, or this is what somebody did to me. And I can almost guarantee, I can guarantee you that one person on the side of you would say, hey, me too, or I've been through that. And they'd be a Christian or not Christian, guys. We are all humans. We are all people. And people, we all experience the same things. Um, and I'm just so sick of this. Everything is perfect. I have no problems. I am just great. Whatever. I'm so tired of it, guys. I uh, wrote a song with my friend Emily. She's amazing. And it's called It's Okay. And I'd um, love for you guys to hear it one day. I don't know. But uh, it's about, literally, my chorus is, it's okay if you're not okay. And so I'm here to tell you guys, it's okay if you're not okay. Because sometimes things just stink. And sometimes things, it feels like it's the end of the world. Or it feels like there's no up. And it, it's, it's so hard. And it gets really hard. But what I've had to learn is that in those moments that we think it's done for, that it could never get any worse, sometimes it gets worse. And sometimes you're going to feel even worse the next day rather than a little better. But it's in those moments when Jesus literally swoops in, picks us up, or grabs our hand, and he's like, but come on, I got you. And it's those moments that we get to feel him even more because we're so raw from things that have happened to us or something somebody said or did to us or all of these things and we're just or I've literally just laid on my bed before and been like Lord I can't take anymore I where are you like just show up and you know and and sometimes he clearly has sometimes not so clearly but that's where kind of faith steps in and you're like I know he's there and you just have to remind yourself not to let Satan swoop in and say, oh, he's not there. Oh, he can't hear you because he can and he's there and he knows what you're going through and somebody else is going through it too. I've always been told there's 
always somebody who has it better than you, and there's always somebody who's going to have it worse than you. And, uh, and that's always stuck with me because we like to pity ourselves and we like to pity other people to make them feel better. But that's not what we're here to do. We're not here to pity. We're here to speak truth to people and speak life into people and to say, it's okay if you're not okay. It's okay if you made a mistake. It's okay if you, you know, said that rumor and you regret it and you want to go apologize. Then go apologize. And if they don't accept it, then you know what? You did what you felt led to do. And we just get so wrapped up in, we have to be perfect. We have to have the perfect filter on our Instagram picture. We have to have the perfect tweet that fits into 160 characters. and Just perfection, but it's not perfection. It is such brokenness. And there is beauty in brokenness. There are so many songs that say, you know, you take broken things and make them beautiful. Um, Ellie Holcomb, oh, love her. Or, you know, brokenness aside, all sons and daughters. Like, there's songs, there are sermons, there are things about how beautiful brokenness is, and yet sometimes we still don't get it. And I know, I sometimes I don't, y'all. I, the last week and a half, two weeks, have been so hard. So many things have happened it just in my life and in my circle and just all, so many things. And it seemed like thing after thing after thing. And, uh... And I'll be honest, there were times where I was like, why? Like, things were going good, Lord. Why? Why? Why now? Things were going so good. Like, please make it stop. But then there were moments when I remembered, all right, Lord, I'm not going to get caught up in all of this. I'm not going to beat myself over the head. I'm not going to let this just completely tear me down. I'm going to stay planted in you. And I'm going to remember that you are who you say you are. I'm going to remember that you know the plans that you have for me to prosper me. to prosper me, And all of these things. And it's really in those moments of our weakest points when we get the strongest because we love when we're hurting and when we're sad and you know, when things are going wrong, that's when we love to turn to the Lord because we know he'll be there. I mean, I've even seen people who don't believe in Christ and, you know, claim to not. But when something goes wrong, they ask for prayer. And that's beautiful to me because it's like, hey, we know that we have someone looking out for us and listening to us at night when we're crying on our pillow. And uh, gosh, it's just such a beautiful thing, guys. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I guess, I'll be honest, I don't ever rewatch the videos I make for you guys. I record it once, add a little slide at the beginning and at the end, and I ship it off because I totally believe that the Holy Spirit comes in and the Lord just speaks what He needs to speak. So I, I don't even know the last eight minutes what I've said. Hope it's been good. But I do know that if you take anything away from this, what I'm taking away that I just talked about is that it's okay if you're not okay. It's okay to be broken. It's okay to have made mistakes. It's, you know, okay. It, it is okay. Because we have such an amazing God who will swoop in and forgive you and cover you with His blood and just love you unconditionally. And surround yourself with people who do that as well. I've been so blessed at the friends that I have around me right now in this moment that I know if I was doing something and they're like, Colby, what are you doing? They'll, they'll check me. Or if I am hurting or something, I can call them and say, I just need prayer. And, you know, I just need love. And surround yourself with people like that. With people who know that nobody is perfect. Who know that we all literally are going to screw up sometimes, a lot of times. We're going to lie. We're going to, you know, hurt others. We're going to hurt the Lord. And it stinks. And I wish we didn't. But, you know, it happens. And when it does, it's okay. We don't have to pretend and put on this mask that everything is great. We have everything together. Because I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather take advice or listen to somebody who is very clear and honest and says, I don't have it all together. I'm screwed up. I've made mistakes. I've made bad choices. I have hurt people I love. And, you know, all of those things, rather than somebody who says, I've never done anything wrong. 
I had done everything right. I've crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's. And I have the most perfect relationship with the Lord. And I know every Bible verse there ever is to know. Like, no, that's a mask. So let's just be real. I know I've done videos about being real and all that stuff. So let's just not be okay. And let's all not be okay together because that's awesome. And you know what? I love that people aren't okay because that's when we get to pick each other up and we get to carry each other's crosses for each other sometimes. And that's awesome. And that's beautiful. And that's what we need to do more of is we got to start being Jesus and reminding people it's okay if you're not okay. Because it is. It is. Newsflash. It is. Oh, maybe I could. I hope little words popped up that said, it is, um, I'm not very technology driven. All right. So I hope the Lord said to you guys what you need to hear and, uh, praying for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for accepting me for me and for when I screw up and get tongue tied sometimes, or I make dumb jokes or silly analogies or metaphors or always have the same intro of, hey everybody, just, I'm not okay, but I got Jesus, so I will be, and I'm okay with not being okay, because the Lord is what completes me, and the Lord is what should be, the Lord is what should complete you, not how many followers you have, or how many likes you get, or how many people tell you you're pretty, that should not be what completes you, and what makes you feel okay, it should be the Lord, hands down. So, little cut, I messed up a little bit, like I was saying. Thank you for accepting me. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a great week. I want to challenge you to just pursue the Lord like nobody's business this week and let him reveal things to you throughout your days and just, uh, just pray. Just pray. If you have nothing to say, just pray. And if you have nothing to pray for, then just pray that he tells you what to pray for. <laughs> um, I hope you guys comment and uh, tweet and message or whatever. And just, I would love to hear your guys' stories. So please somehow, you know, just comment below or, you know, whatever. Um, and so I can hear them and just hear how the Lord's working in your life. Love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.